Hi everybody, welcome to EcoDriver. My name is Helmut. Today we do our two tests, our two tests with uh, plug-in hybrid vehicles. For that purpose, we have the uh, Citroen C5X, which is a brand new model in this market. It's only out for about 10 days now, and um, we have here the 132 kilowatt uh, petrol engine and the 81.2 kilowatt electric motor. Uh, battery size is around 13 kilowatt hours, and the uh, the range according to WLTP and given by Citroen is 60 kilometers. And laden weight is 1,783 kilograms, 3,993 pounds. Uh, what do we do? Yes, we have 100% on the battery, and we just drive until the we drive in electric mode until the battery is empty and the petrol engine kicks in. Uh, we go. We don't do a specific loop. We just I just go out maybe 30 kilometers in uh, one direction and then I. I turn back, I go through some villages, a uh, little bit of, of city, city traffic, a little bit up and down, maybe a bit on the motorway, although with only 100 kilometers an hour, and then we see how far we can get. Uh, yeah, what is there to say in order to achieve the uh, best possible range with the plug-in hybrid? As we only have a relatively small electric motor with 81 kilowatts and almost 8 1.8 tons of weight of the car it's important to make sure that you don't push the uh, the brakes too hard as you only have a limited uh, amount of regenerative energy uh, reg regenerative power to brake the vehicle electrically so if you brake too hard then uh, the, you do this with the friction brakes and you won't get any energy back or you won't get back as much en energy as possible if you if you're braking a little bit with a little bit more gently um, and therefore it's it makes sense to read the road uh, look ahead try to avoid harsh braking yeah, weather is nice and uh, I hope you enjoy this and I'll talk to you later. So we are at half time now, uh, 50%. It says 20 kilometers remaining range, uh, but we already have 36 so far. So I think the the, uh, the calculation of the re remaining range is uh, is static and not based on the on the previous style of driving, previous consumption during the last couple of kilometers. Um, yeah, you may have noticed uh, on the downhill sections when I hit the brakes, it uh, you need to brake very gently, very carefully, not in order not to exceed the 
uh, regenerative capacity of the uh, 81 kilowatt electric motor and therefore it requires some uh, preview, some reading the road, some foresight um, in order to get the best possible range out of this plug-in hybrid. But I'm, I'm fairly sure that we will get to 60 kilometers at the end. Okay, the state of charge rumbled down quite quickly towards the end and uh, as soon as the petrol engine kicked in I stopped the vehicle and we see here 63 kilometers of pure electric white you see this 0 0.1 liters per hundred kilometers this is when I went out of the um, of the garage before I started I didn't reset the uh, the odometer, the trip meter, and it's also the 100 meters uphill. So, uh, yes, um, three kilometers more than WLTP, and we had the AC on most of the time. It's already 23 degrees outside. Citroën gives uh, 32 kilometers uh, on, of electric range on the board computer, so we exceeded this quite dramatically. So, yeah. Uh, this shows the influence of the driver when it comes to consumption, when it comes to the range of electric vehicles. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more of this car, I did the EcoDriver loop with the empty battery. Uh, you can click on this video here. And I also put up a link for my five tips of how to drive PHEVs more efficiently in general. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.